Hello and many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for yet another Somerset Renault review. Continuing with my uh, Bath Ales gift pack, uh, which I received for a Christmas present, uh, I'm going to review the gem now. I've just reviewed the um, pale wild hair, the wild hair I've just reviewed, which is very nice. Um, I've had this, this is the gem, it's a 4.8% amber ale. I've had this on cask many a time, it's quite readily available. Uh, around here so it'd be nice to actually review it from the bottle um, it's I, I find it quite a rich beer uh, on cask um, bottle it now. Uh, but um, it's it's been nice to try it out of the bottle I've never actually bought a bottle of this although they sell it in my farm shop locally down the road there's a nice sort of orange crown with the hair on do I mention this is 4.8 percent ABV in a 500 ml brown bottle yeah, so it's quite readily available. I can get this like the farm shop just a mile down the road. Um, I don't think their beers are well. Not, I know they're not bottle conditioned, so I don't have to be too careful with the with the pour on these. Chuck it on in. Now, the wild hair didn't have a very good head on the beer, but it didn't affect the quality of it. It tasted quite nice. This one is poured absolutely fantastically, and certainly you're getting those qualities of a darker malt there. Um, it's got that sort of orangey tinge, mahogany maybe. The head is dying down, but it's still a one finger sort of newspaper coloured head. Let's get a nose in there. And it's not a huge on the aromas, this beer. It's got that sort of very slightly citrus uh, kick to it. Um, to sort of made me sort of a really overripe orange. And sort of that multi quality. Um, and not a lot else, sort of like a cake, maybe a fruit cake. Yeah, and it just smells like a good beer. Um, I'm going to dig in. Cheers, everybody. And yes, it has got that sort of sticky toffee, um, rich, slightly finishing off with a very slight mild bitterness. It is like a sticky toffee sort of cake uh, feel to this beer. It's it's a nice beer um, to have on its own or out of the bottle, you know, one at a time. It's hard to drink on a session, I find, this beer. Um, but some beers are like that, you just don't want, you, they're a good beer, but you don't want to session them. Um, I find it quite hard, heavy going, as it's so sort of uh, rich. But at 4.8%, you would have to be quite careful sessioning this anyway. Well, I, I personally would. I wouldn't want to drink this all night. After four of these, I think I'd be pretty, um, well, I think it'd be too much for me. It's got a nice dry finish now, a nice dry bitter finish. I'm actually getting a lot of the uh, dark or darker malt qualities from this beer, and I find that really, really welcome. I do like um, a darker beer in a session of lighter beers, perhaps. Um, I really do enjoy a beer like this, but like I say, I wouldn't want to session it all night. It's very well carbonated. The head has all but died down now. But certainly getting that sort of caramelly quality from the, the darker malt. Perhaps it is a caramel, I don't know. I don't think they give the description of what they're actually, what are actually in here. Gem has a rich aroma of hops and malt with a long, deep, bitter, sweet finish. An exceptional best bitter. Unusual. It says it's a premium amber ale on the front, but then it describes it as an exceptional best bitter on the back, which is unusual, but, um, well, perhaps not unusual. Breweries do tend to use different terms and descriptions for their styles of beers. Uh, Marisotta, Golding's Hops. Oh, okay. Uh, quintessential English beer. It says serve cool again on here. Um, I, I don't particularly like my beers too cool. This is at room temperature, so um, I, I've read everything out apart from www.bathales.com. If you want to log on the website, I'm sure there's a lot more information about this beer on there. 
Let's have a final sort of uh, overlook of the beer. Well, to me, it's a very welcome beer. Like I say, it's a little too rich for me to uh, session all night. Although, luckily, I've got a few different beers in the box there to um, session anyway. And, of course, my usual stock in the uh, corner over there. Um, I think this is going to get a 7 out of 10 for me. As I say, I drink this quite regularly anyway. It's, it's available in quite a few of the pubs around here. So it's quite a, a regular beer for me and I'm always happy to drink it. 7 out of 10. Well worth looking at. Um, well worth checking this brewery out. They are a good brewery. Thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box. And hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers, everyone.